So when I was taking the uh, engine apart, um, the, the old engine, I noticed there was a lot of um, free play in the camshaft. I could pull on the sprocket and it would move in and out a lot. Uh, it seemed very, very excessive. So here I bolted up the old um, timing sprocket, timing gear, uh, to the cam and I put the thrust bearing, or the thrust plate spacer in there. As you can see, this thing is very, very loose. This is supposed to have um, two uh, to eight thousandths of an inch clearance. And when I measure this, it's 40 thousandths. So that's why, the, that's why there was uh, so much play in there. And if you have too much end play, uh, you can see it'll let your, your cam level move back and forth, which isn't, won't be lining up with your lifters very well. And also, uh, it'll affect your timing because as this moves in and out, this will turn your distributor slightly, not much, but uh, it's still gonna change your timing, uh, maybe a few degrees, I'm just guessing, I don't know. Uh, and it probably stays to one side just because of the, um, the thrust, you know, the, the, the forces on it as it's turning, so it might not even change, but it is bad to have that going in and out. So this, this thrust plate, this is the only thing that keeps the cam from falling out of the engine. Um, it definitely don't want to go back too far because then it'll run into the engine block in the back, right? So, and you don't want it to come out the front because you'll hit the timing cover. So here's a new, uh, new thrust plate. The old one, I don't know if you can tell why it's bolted on here, but the other one just has uh, two ears on it. So you can go on uh, either way. And here's the one I bought. It has this oiling um, groove in it. And that's because uh, on my engine here, you'll see I have this extra hole here, which just goes through to um, that hole there, right in the center. That's where the, uh, the drive shaft for the oil pump goes through. So it probably doesn't really do much, but I figured it was kind of silly to have this thing not covered up if that's where it was. So when you put this, put this on here like that, and you'll see that, that little ear uh, with the oil groove in there. I don't know which way the oil comes. Does it come out of here and then go up to the bearing? Um, or does it come from the bearing down? I don't know. But either way, it's going to be there now. So it looks like that's how it was intended. So when I put this on with my new sprocket and I measure my clearance, I get five thousandths, which is uh, perfect. So just one more thing wrong with the old engine. Uh, also, uh, when I measured the thickness of this, the old thrust plate, uh, it measured uh, 0.215. It's supposed to be 0.250, a quarter inch. So you can see it's 35 thousandths off. So if you take that 35 thousandths and uh, add in the 5 thousandths clearance that I'm supposed to have, that gives me the 40 thousandths, and that's what I measure now. So from what I can tell, um, this, this plate belongs to a very early 289. I think they were thinner back then. And the only way to, to make that work would be to have a timing sprocket, timing gear that is a little bit thicker down there. Uh, okay, um, this is the old sprocket and the old thrust plate. And there's a, too much space here. That's why I had uh, too much play in it. So I'm guessing that this this thrust plate requires a different uh, sprocket than what they make now. You would have to have one that's actually thinner so that this shoulder is lower. And right, right now there's just too much of a space there. Here's the, here's the new one here. And you know it almost feels flush because it's only five thousandths but you can just barely tell that the sprocket is higher than the thrust plate, so when you bolt it up, this thing could still spin. But uh, this one, this one has way too much play in there. So I guess I guess it needs a thinner sprocket for the early 289s. Anyway, uh, it's kind of hard to find information on that. Uh, just in case anybody's interested, here's the specs on the cam. Uh, Looks like it's a 284RF HR10. 
I don't know that roller. Uh, RF must stand for roller, I guess. I don't know. But it's a 284 um, advertised duration, intake and exhaust, and 224 at 50 thousandths. And the lift is 0 0.533. I believe my springs on my Promax heads are good for uh, 0.55, something like that. I don't know. But they uh, definitely have a little bit of room in there. And then the lobe separation is 110 degrees, so 